morning. How's everybody doing this Sunday? I'm going crazy. Welcome to my world. Alrighty. What I'm going to do is a cave pour, which is a ring pour, which I make it like look like a cave. At least that's what my last two looked like. So I shall see if this one also uh, works out. Um, let me get my gloves on. Hopefully this will be a quickie. I did uh, quite a few videos this past week. I did one yesterday, deleted it. Then I went over it, the canvas, and it came out crappy. And then this morning I did one and a total fail. So now I decided I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do my cave pour. Something I know exactly 100% how to do. Doesn't always work out though. Anyway, all my, all my stuff is mixed with Floetrol by Flood. Um, get it at Home Depot. I did, it's gonna be light blue permanent. This could be one of the first colors I put into my cup. Then I have uh, phalo blue. I love phalo blue, love it. Then I have thioxacine uh, purple. And then my burnt umber, I mixed it with, where is it, orange. I had orange paint, so I decided to put the little burnt umber with that, and it came out great. Beautiful color. Then I have alizarin crimson and quinacridone combined into my cup that I had some primary red. So it came out like a purple red. Really pretty color. All right, let me get rid of my paint. Mix some room on my table. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do an outline of the black first, and then I'll put the white in the middle. I figure where I'm going to put this. Running out of room for sure. Okay. Let me move my bars up. foot table you'd never know it because I'm like running out of room I got to get rid of crap around here including this stuff too Put my photo up there move my paints this way because I've got to move it down some bear with me guys okay well so I don't want that to fall down all right all good you can see yay all right first things first let me get everything in the cup that I want first color I want in is my light blue now I mix it with Floetrol it's really thick at this point but it should flow Mix this some more. There's no silicone in this at all. All right, let me pour that in there. The first couple layers, I'm going to layer it. And then I want this pretty white a little bit. Eh, no, I, didn't. I don't want white. I want the the uh, phalo glue next. I'm just going to layer it. Okay. And then a little bit of my red. Layering it. Okay. The next I'm going to pour from my cup. I'm going to do, well, this white's got to go on my thing here, so 
This will be one of my last colors, but I do want a little bit here, so I'm going to pour a little bit inside the cup. Then I'm going to do the purple, the Oxine purple. I have no idea how this is going to turn out either, guys. I've never done this combination ever in my life. So we shall see. Some more of the blue here. And then phalo. Which I love. I love phalo in the morning. Do, 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 do. That didn't sound right, did it? That was kind of weird. Very weird. Don't have a clue what I'm going to get. But that's a thing. I really do think this is why this is addicting because you really don't ever know what you're going to get, you know? And get a little. This would make a nice, pretty uh, color on top of it. Alrighty. And then I'm going to do just a splash of white here. Not much. And then, did I put white at all? No, I didn't. Ooh. Bad girl, bad girl. I'll do a little more white then. A little more white. That's my pouring medium. I don't know why I just did that, but oh well, we shall see. All right, the rest of the blue. And then, I think this is dioxazine. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know at this point. Okay, then brown on top. And then, oh, and I did it backwards. Oh, man. This is going to not look good at all. Let me put the black around here. Okay. And I'm just going to do it with my hand. Just get it all over. Because I can. It's got to flow. It's going to flow right off the page here. And then my white. I'll go right here in the center. All right. I'm going to do a little jiggle right in the center here. It's kind of like a ring pour, except different. I'm turning it also. There we go. That's going to be the... Alrighty. I'll pour a little bit over here and over there and here and there. Okay. All right. I'm going to move my paints onto the side here because I got to pour some of the paint off. And I don't want it getting on my paints over here. I'm going to put that there. All right. Now I'm going to turn it this way because I want to have this as my light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so I'm going to start pouring this off over here a little bit. I want to get rid of that. Okay, then go over here. Okay, and move over here. This is gonna be weird looking. <laughs> Got a lot of red. And over here. It's really looking strange. I got the white down here with the 
brown, which looks really cool, I have to say. Uh, it's really weird. I'm going to give a little torch to see what happens. Hopefully I'll get some nice little cells. I like little cells and I like big cells. So in this particular one, I like the little cells because it really gives a different effect. So I got so many cells. I, I, I can't believe how many cells I have here. All right, let me grab my torch. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Alrighty. Let it sit for a bit. Let me see what it looks like. That looks like it could be a waterfall right out of the hole, huh? Hmm. Really strange looking. But I like it. Well, this is one of my cave pours. I have better cave pours, but I do like it. This paint smells. Some, some of the paint. I don't know what the heck's going on. Um, I'm going to pour some of this off down there. I want to keep that blue, but I don't want it so jiggity jaggedy on the edge, you know? So, let me do a little stretching. I think the red was a mistake, but I do love red. It's a mistake for this, but because it doesn't look like. I gotta get the browns down. Alright, let me go this way. Get that off in the corner. I don't like that flippity floppity. Okay. I'm trying to get some of the browns, some of that red off too on the side over here. Of course, now I think I'm losing my light blue. But I'll go back up here. Here we go. You can't see it. Sorry, guys. Definitely weird looking. I'm telling you, I haven't had luck today. Let's swear. I'm going to pour some of this back over here. Mm. Wonderful. You know, it almost looks like you're inside a cave and you have those stalactites, I think they're called. Stagmites and What? This is underwater reef. There we go. This is a coral, red coral. Here we go. Whoops. This is a red coral piece now. Yep, that's it. It's under the ocean. Oh, I knew I'd get something different. Let me pour some more of this over here. This looks cool, I have to say. It is beginning to grow on me. And I want to get some of that off the top there. I don't know what, oh, that, that must be the browns coming through. I don't know what the heck. Anyway. What else should I do? I love the coral. Look at this coral. It's just popping up. This is neat. Let me see which way should be the best. I kind of like that. Kind of like both ways. I like it all. I don't know which way I could do it any different. I'm going to get rid of some of these white dots here. I don't like them. Nope. I don't know what it is. I guess it must be the paint coming through, the white paint. But I don't like them. I don't mind if it made sense, but it doesn't make sense, so here we go. Pour some more this way. It's getting really thick now to pour, I mean to move. But I think I got all the edges. Yeah, yes. All right. Who would have thought red would come out so cool looking? 
it's the bottom of the ocean floor and you have yourself your coral. So now this is my coral. Coral water. Coral, coral painting. See how quick and easy that was. <laughs> Let me take it down so you can see everything close up because it really looks cool. All right, how neat that looks. Let me turn up the light. I keep forgetting to do that before I turn my camera back on. Okay, here you have your red coral. Isn't that cool looking? That is cool. And you have your ocean. And you got like shimmering lights of the sun coming through on the ocean. This is cool. Let me go this way so you can see the whole effect. I can't wait for this to dry. I'll definitely post pictures. The sun's now out, which is ruining my... You can't see too well. And I may have to do, I'm trying to see if I have any globs or a few um, bubbles, which I'm going to burst with a, a stick that I have. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great afternoon. It's beautiful and sunny here in Florida. See? <laughs> and I'll catch you later. Bye.